Micronutrients. In addition to water and macronutrients, food provides micronutrients which do not bring energy but are essential for life. These constituents can be divided into two groups. Firstly, the minerals and oligo elements, and secondly, vitamins. Vitamins can be defined as amines that are vital, necessary for life. Indeed, unlike vitamins K, PP, and D, they cannot be synthesized by our body and must therefore be provided by food. Among the 13 vitamins, two families can be distinguished. Firstly, the vitamins which can be dissolved in fat. These are the vitamins A, D, E, and K. Secondly, the vitamins which can be dissolved in water. These are the vitamins of the B group and C. Vitamins are involved in many biological functions, such as building functions. For instance, improvement of calcium absorption, but also in the functioning and maintenance of the body, like the vision, gene regulation, blood clotting, antioxidants, and many chemical reactions in the body called enzymatic catalysis. A balanced and diversified diet allows for the body's needs to be met. Indeed, most of the vitamins can be found in the main food categories. Some vitamins can be found in more specific categories. Vitamin D can be produced in the skin using certain sun rays and also obtained from certain foods, both plant and animal, mostly in fish oils. Vitamin A can be found in animal products such as liver, milk, butter, and eggs, and also in vegetable products, melon, spinach, broccoli, and carrots. Finally, vitamin C can be obtained from certain fruits such as cassis, kiwi, and citrus. An insufficient intake of micronutrients leads in short term to an impairment of the functioning of the organism. Long-term insufficient intakes can lead to clinical troubles. The most widely spread deficiencies in developing countries are of vitamins A, B12, and PP. Among industrialized countries, there are deficiencies in vitamin D and vitamin B9, which are particularly important for childbearing women. At the opposite end of the spectrum, consumption of a vitamin above its requirements will not improve the performance of an already functioning organism. Its consumption can lead to medium or long-term toxicity. For instance, excessive intake of vitamin A leads to vision disorders, headaches, and dry skin depending on the amount of intake. Similarly, excessive intake of vitamin D leads to weight loss, stunting, hypercalcemia, and hypertension. More than organic materials, food provides many mineral materials, among which around 20 are essential in humans. The amounts of minerals in the organism are variable, Around one kilogram of calcium or phosphorus, a few grams of iron or fluorine, and less than one milligram of chromium or cobalt. These are finally ranked into two categories. Either minerals for those which constitute more than one gram per kilogram of body weight or trace elements. In total, these mineral materials represent only 4% of body weight but are involved in a wide range of body functions, such as formation of hemoglobin, pH and water electrolyte balance, building, renewal of the skeleton and teeth, and muscular contraction. Finally, with the exception of iodine and fluorine, all other minerals have multiple roles. As with vitamins, 
A balanced and varied diet ensures contribution of minerals and compensates for losses. However, deficiency in iron leads to reduced physical performance, decreased learning ability, and in the case of large deficiency, anemia has been observed in one billion people around the world, particularly in childbearing women and preschool children. Iodine deficiency, leading to cretinism and goiter, is frequent in Asia, South America, and Africa, and affects 500,000 people. Finally, the prevalence of marginal deficiency in zinc can reach 25% in Africa and Asia, and also leads to stunting and to a higher risk of infectious disease. In industrialized countries, only marginal deficiencies in minerals occur. This is a case for calcium in adolescents or seniors and iron in women, influenced by menstruation. A long-term excess of calcium can lead to impaired renal function. This risk is increased in the case of excessive intake of vitamin D.